Hi, in this video let's try to understand few important concepts. Coming to the first one, so this is a question. Uh, the question is 80 kvp and 15 ma, source film distance of 8 inches, exposure time is half second, keeping the kvp and ma constant, exposure time at 16 inches is. So at a source film distance of 8 inches, exposure time is half second. At a source film distance of 16 inches, what is the exposure time? So that's the question. Is it half second, one second, two seconds or four seconds? So first let's try to understand the relation between exposure time and also source film distance. So we have one formula given in White and Farrow. So according to that, exposure time measured in seconds is directly proportional to the square of the distance and inversely proportional to tube voltage and tube current right so using this formula since in the question they mentioned that kvp and ma are constant so exposure time is directly proportional to square of the distance that's what i have written here or we can simplify that in this fashion t1 by t2 is equal to d1 by d2 whole square right so using this formula we can obtain the answer by substituting the values given in the question so t1 is half second d1 is 8 inches distance and d2 is 16 inches but they are trying to find out what is t2 so using this formula and substituting the values we can obtain t2 and the final output is 2 seconds right so that's how we can use this formula and try to deduce the answer so the important thing which we have to keep in mind here is the exposure time which was asked in the question it's directly proportional to square of the distance but remember we have something called as exposure or intensity of radiation which is indirectly proportional to square of distance this follows inverse square law right that's very very important so don't get confused between exposure time and exposure exposure time is measured in seconds whereas exposure or intensity is the energy of an x-ray beam which follows an inverse square law so this is the question again so let's uh, try to read the question once finally 80 kvp and 15 ma source film distance of 8 inches exposure time is half second keeping kvp and ma constant exposure time at 16 inches is right so it is two seconds right now coming to the next question the radiographs were taken with buckle object rule in mind so it's nothing but slope technique so in film number two the x-ray was directed mesially the object moved mesially so what is the special position of object in the radiograph so in the slope technique we usually take two radiographs one radiograph at normal horizontal angulation whereas the other radiograph is taken at either mesial angulation or distal angulation so in this question they are saying that the object in the radiograph moved along the direction of the cone when the cone was shifted mesially so let's first try to understand what slope technique is and then we'll come back to the question again so buckle object rule or slope technique so we have many names for this slope buckle object rule or clark's rule so let me just write down here it's also called as buckle object rule or slope or clark's rule so slob is nothing but same side it's an acronym for same side lingual and opposite side buckle it means when you shift the cone towards either mesial side or distal side if the object on the radiograph seems to be shifting towards the side of the cone then it is present on the lingual side if the object moves away from the cone movement then it is present buckle side in the question while using film 2 they mentioned that while taking film 2 the tube was directed mesially and the object also moved mesially it means the object is present lingually that's the reason why the object is moving along the direction of the tube shift so let's try to understand that in this diagrammatic representation this schematic representation where you can clearly see that so these are the teeth right and this is a x-ray cone and let's try to get some clarity on the sides this is a mesial side a distal side this is lingual side and this is buccal side these are the teeth this is an x-ray cone and this is the exposure film or radiographic film right so in the first image this is the first one this is the second one and this is the third image in the first image as you can see the horizontal angulation is zero that is the cone is being directed 
towards the contacts of the teeth right so in this case so you can see two objects here one object which is shaded is present buccally and the other object which is not shaded is present lingually so when you take radiograph in this direction with zero horizontal angulation so this first one represents zero horizontal angulation so in this case what happens is there is overlap of these two objects which are present both buccally and lingually so we can't differentiate which object is present on which direction if you observe this second illustration as the cone is shifted mesially the structure which is present buccally ideally it should be present here but it is moving away from the cone whereas the structure which is, which is present lingually is moving towards the cone in this direction and if you observe this third illustration if the cone is shifted distally the structure which is present buccally is shifting away from the cone and the structure which is present lingually is shifting towards the cone so that's how you can identify whether a structure is present buccally or lingually based on its shift relative to the tube shift so these are some of the important concepts hope it's clear right thank you